Okay, let's get our tārenga tuned in, our ears ready to listen. Can you guess what these sounds are? Oh, I totally nailed that game. Hey, have you packed for a holiday yet? What do you think Jesus packed when he went on holiday? Come on, Mally, we have to start packing. <sighs> I guess I have to go pack now. Why don't you watch this video and listen to the message from Nicole? Come and see Jesus, the Son. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room in the inn for him. After Jesus was born, his mother, Mary, Hi. and her husband, Joseph, hey took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. There was a man named Simeon hey, are you? who loved God. Yeah, yeah. God has told Simeon that he would meet the Savior before he died. When Mary and Joseph arrived at the temple, Simeon was there. Oh my. When Simeon saw Jesus, he took him in his arms and blessed him. Thank you. He knew that this was the promised child who would save them all. It's you. Mary and Joseph were amazed at his words. There was also a woman named Anna in the temple. When she saw the baby that Simeon was holding and heard all that he had said, wow. she gave thanks to God and told everyone that the Savior had come. Yeah. When everything had been done as God commanded, Mary and Joseph went home to Nazareth. <laughs> Jesus grew up. He became strong and filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for a festival. When Jesus was 12, Come on. they went just like every other year. But when the festival was over and Mary and Joseph were traveling back home, Jesus? Jesus? Do you know? Nope. They realized that Jesus was not with them. Uh oh. Come on. So they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. This oh, his name is Jesus. I haven't seen him. They searched everywhere. Jesus. Not Jesus. 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 And after three days, they found him in the temple. Jesus was sitting among the religious teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Jesus. Hey, Mom. When Mary and Joseph found him, they said, Why have you done this? We've been searching for you everywhere. But Jesus said, Why did you look for me? Didn't you know I would be here in my father's house? Huh? But his parents didn't understand what he meant. So Jesus left with them, See you later. Bye, Jesus. And came back to Nazareth, where he obeyed them. Hey. Here you go. And he continued to grow in wisdom and favor with God and man. Kia ora whato. how are your holidays going? Who's been to the beach? What about the park? Has anyone been away? I love going camping. I have so many memories as a kid, as an adult, of going on different camping trips. 
One of my favourite stories to tell is about one year, we were still up north and we went camping and it rained and it rained and it rained and it rained. It rained so much that we weren't actually allowed to leave the campsite because we, the road was closed. Um, but it's interesting talking to my kids because they have lovely, great, fun memories of that trip. They remember we decided to do a mudslide. There was lots of games inside. Shout out to the Penmans for being with us on that trip. We had so much fun. Whenever I'm telling stories about holidays and camping, that one seems to come up. I wonder if Mary was like that about the trip to Jerusalem when Jesus was 12. They, as a family, every year would do this trip from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem. Now, that's kind of like walking further than from Dunedin to Oamaru. Now, imagine having to do that every year. But I think it was helped in the fact that they were used to walking a lot more than we are. And also they did it with family and friends. And we know that they did it with other people because in Luke chapter 2, it says that the reason that Mary and Joseph lost him was because they thought that he was just travelling with other people. Now, have your parents ever lost you in a crowd? I've lost my kids, but it's usually not been for more than, say, five minutes. I cannot imagine what it was like for Mary and Joseph. For three days, they were looking for Jesus. And they might have been thinking, oh, what's he doing? He might be in a corner, like crying, scared. He might have been hurt. Who knows what's happened to him? And then they walk into the temple and there's Jesus. And he's sitting there. And I love what it says in the Bible. It says he was sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and answers. Now, I love that Jesus was, this is where he wanted to be. This is what he wanted to do. He wanted to learn. He wanted to grow. And in any situation, we can be doing that too. So even though we're away, we're relaxing, we can still be growing and learning. You can be praying. You can be reading your Bible. You can be spending time with God. You can do all kinds of things to continue to grow and to learn whatever season we're in, whether it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day or you're stuck in a tent and it's raining and outside. But we would love to see you. We would love to hear from you. Kakite. Give it a go, bro. 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 Hey, are you ready to give it a go, bro? Today's challenge is for you to recreate one of your family photos. I hope you guys have been enjoying your holiday. Possibly it's an old holiday photo. So that's your challenge. Make sure you send us the results of you trying to recreate one of your holiday family photos on social media or to the email address below. Give it a go, bro. Woo! Give it a go, bro. 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 Well, Kids Online, that's a wrap. We need to head off on our final holiday, but we'll see you next week. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next week. <laughs>